My name is Dylan, I am 14 years old, and I am addicted to Pokemon Go. I'm getting exercise, I'm meeting all these new people. I mean, if I see someone at a Pokestop, of course I just turn around and walk away or ignore them, but I see them. Are you kidding me? I spent like 40 Pokeballs on that Rattata and it ran away! Ah! Oh, it's dwarf! Ah! The addiction started at a young age. About two days ago when I downloaded the app, I just could not get my hands off it. I mean, it's a brilliant concept. It's about time Pokemon put out a video game. Dylan spends every minute of every day attempting to catch Pokemon. That's 24 hours a day. That's almost 100 hours a week. Can't stop me from catching them all. I mean, I have my Charmander, three Weedles, a Pidgey, I think. Even though he only has 12 Pokemon, Dylan thinks that he is the best player in the country of Pennsylvania. There are specific people that say I'm not even good at the game, but first of all, I'm not bad. I'm a Poke Champion. And second of all, I don't think they're the ones with three Weedles. Dylan keeps bragging about the fact that he has three Weedles, but that's not even that impressive. I'm pretty sure you can get three Weedles over the course of two minutes. Dylan plays in all weather conditions and has no sense of safety while playing Pokemon Go. It kind of makes me scoff in a way. These amateurs that think they can't go outside to catch Pokemon just because it's the middle of a lightning storm. Dylan's addiction has caused him to spend so much money on these in-app purchases in the game that he started asking me for money, which I can't provide because I've already spent all my money on collectible lanyards. Saving up for a Power Rangers one. Dylan spends almost $30 of his parents' money every day on in-app purchases. That's almost $70 a week. That's almost $100 every year. Okay, I'm gonna be totally upfront. There is not an addiction, okay? People call it an obsession, an addiction. No, it is a healthy hobby. And people just complain about how good I am at it. The real problem is the pe the people that don't under- I'm sorry, just- I'm trying to catch this Zubat for the last like 45 minutes. Dylan is about to tell Rowan about his serious Pokemon Go addiction and is concerned about how Rowan will react. Alright, so Rowan, there's something I have to tell you. Okay. If you could just give me a minute, I, I have to use the bathroom or something. I kind of already know that Dylan's going to tell me that he's addicted to Pokemon Go. I mean, I've known since he's downloaded the app, he just hasn't looked up from his phone since. I don't see why he thinks he can hide from me. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! 13 CP Pidgey! Dylan? Oh, hey. Um, this might come as a shock, but I'm addicted to Pokemon Go. Yeah, I know. You've been playing constantly for the past two days. What are you even wearing? You look like Jacob Sartorius ate Ash Ketchum. It's my Pokemon catching outfit. It's like a giant sign that says punch me, pull my hair, throw me in a hot car, lock the doors, put me in a metal trash can. Okay, I get it! Why are you even so obsessed with the game? You're not even good at it. Not even good at it. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Is this good enough? Ah, you like that? No. Stop. Look, Rowan, if you don't understand my culture, oh, it's a culture now. maybe you should just leave. I'm not gonna lie, there have been a few challenges that I've been faced with over the past few days. One of these challenges is when my phone dies and I don't have a charger. Just all the Pokemon I'm not catching. How am I supposed to catch them all with this battery drainer? I'm sorry. Coming home, coming home. Tell the world that I'm coming home. Despite his challenges, Dylan still plays way past a healthy point and is about to fight a Team Valor gym. Being a proud member of Team Mystic, he has even tattooed Team Mystic Forever to his arm, spelled with the number four instead of the word because he thinks it's cool. Hey! Is this crap hole your gym? Sure is. Well, I'm gonna fight it. That's cute, honey, but this is my gym, and that's not gonna happen. Oh yeah? Why well, have a 149 Pidgeot? 
that will kick your behind. Kid, it's not how we do things around here. You see, we win, you lose. Yeah? Who's we? Claim your gym, boy! Claim your gym, boy! Up, up, up! Now what do we have here? Team Mystic forever. Yeah, it's because Team Valor is cheap trash. Hear that? Hear this boy? Ugh. Sell all the Pidgeys. No. And your Weedles. No, no, not my Weedles. And your 149 Pidgeot. Ah, uh, you can take your property. You can take out the trash now. Dylan is currently on the hunt for a Jigglypuff and will stop at nothing until he finds it. He believes that once he catches this Jigglypuff, he will be the world's greatest Pokemon Go player. Seriously dude, you're still playing this dumb game? Okay, I'm actually trying to find a Jigglypuff, so if you're not going to be a helpful buddy, maybe you should just mind your own business! I don't even think you realize you're not good at this game. I'm a Poke Champion, and I have three, three wheels. wheels! Yeah, I know. You don't stop saying that, you're still not good at it. I'm a Poke God! I'll show you! I'll show all of you! Okay, this game is seriously hurting you, you need to stop. Try it. Oh my god. Like the Pokemon's there, but it's not. Yeah, you don't have to explain it to me. I've played before. And then you like throw Pokeballs at them and they go in. I have to do something. I'm ready to catch them all! Pokemon! What are you wearing? It's my Pokemon catching outfit. What happened to yours? Oh yeah, no I, no, I don't play that game anymore. But you did like five minutes ago. But now there's this new popular app on the App Store and it's like Flappy Bird, just with a different name, so it's really popular right now. So I did this all for nothing? Yeah, pretty much. He's hat pokey loser. <laughs> Gotta catch them all. I know I'm really good at the game. I know I'm a pokey champion. I just get this feeling like everybody's jealous of my Pokemon. 